Hey guys, what's up? Welcome, welcome back to my channel. My name is Carissa and I am a mom of two. I have an almost three-year-old girl named Emerson and a 16-month-old girl named Charlie. So today I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a tour slash share some ideas and activities that we will be doing for Valentine's Day. I recently redid the girls' play area back here. And as I was redoing it, since Valentine's Day was coming up, I just went ahead and themed it towards Valentine's Day, but it is something that we kind of swap around. So we are just dipping our toe into the Montessori world right now a lot of our activities are Montessori style but I am by no means an expert and I don't know everything about it so this is just what we're doing and this is what works for us hopefully you guys can get some cool ideas or just see how we do things I filmed the part of my tour earlier with Emmy who's now taking a nap and I've swapped and Charlie and I are going back through and showing some things now so you'll see us jump back and forth a little bit between the two of them let's get into it So one of the first things um, I'm going to show you are these little felt hearts. I found these on Etsy and they have come in handy. We've used them so many times because there's a lot of different things you can do with them. You can see right now, Emmy is going to be doing some, I'm guessing, color matching. Are you going to match the colors? I bought these little cardboard heart boxes at Michael's so we could just sort the colors out and that could be one activity. Put all the yellow ones in here. Getting the lid back on is sometimes an activity. Another little game that I came up with, and that's why the bowl is here. Do you want to play Valentine's Soup with me? Yeah. Okay, so Valentine's Soup is another game that we came up with with these. I actually have little flashcards that I made, but they're upstairs, so we're not going to do it right now. I'll just tell you guys. And each card is a different combination of like colors of hearts that you need to put into the soup to make the soup. It's kind of a play on the game Acorn Soup, if you've seen that. So Emerson reads each card, say it calls for two purple ones. And she'll put two purple ones in. One blue one and two yellow. One, two. So then it's kind of a counting game. Um, also like following the little recipe because Emerson loves cooking. So this is what we call Valentine's soup. You're done, then we stir it all up. Charlie personally just likes the activity of moving the hearts from one basket into another. Soup. Mmm. Another easy little thing that I've got for the girls, I got this on Etsy, is just hearts tic-tac-toe. For Emmy, it's been a lot of fun learning tic-tac-toe, and I genuinely, like, I'm not even lying, she can beat me now. At tic-tac-toe, I was super surprised that she kind of caught on pretty fast. There's still a little bit of explanation that goes into it. So for oh, her, yeah, it's just brown. a, I'll be brown. Okay. So she knows the idea is to get three in a row or to try and stop mommy from getting three in a row. Can mommy get three in a row this time? Yeah, so where would you want to put your heart to stop mommy's? Okay, you can put it there if you want. Okay, mommy wins, three in a row. This is pretty easy, fun game to play over and over again. And I win! You win? Okay, let's play again. For Charlie, she likes just putting these into the squares themselves. Um, I also have out this little coin box for Charlie that she has, and she can use these little Valentine's hearts. They fit in there just like coins, so it's just another way to kind of make it Valentine's themed and get another use out of these little wooden hearts. <laughs> this little coin box came in Charlie's Love Every kit, the Babbler kit. I'll put a link down to them below, but they have some awesome Montessori inspired toys and they have them based on different age groups. This little ball drop has also been so much fun for her. Not only does she like pushing the ball down, can you push that down for us? And watching that go. But what's cool about this one specifically is that each side has a different way to retrieve the ball. So she's learning how to open the little doors and on the other side is like a reach through. And on the last side is just another kind of door. But Charlie 
loves to just reach in and grab them out of the most obvious spot, which I think is funny. So this little rainbow guy I've got out over here is not necessarily Valentine's theme, but it is new and I just put it out with our Valentine's thing and we have loved these. It's very similar to the Grimm's rainbow stackers, but this is much cheaper. I got it on Amazon and I think for $20. Mommy, I got an idea. What's your idea? Do this. Okay. Go for it. Do it together. With these like open-ended toys, there's so many different um, options that you can do with them. For Emerson, the first thing that she did with the rainbow was pretend that it was a phone and she runs around and calls people on her phone and gives Charlie one of them as well. The other idea with this is that you can Look stack it up. Watch. Ta-da! A little building. <laughs> building. Oh, the little building? This. Oh, you want to stack it off of there? Okay. We spent a good long time the other night just coming up with different ways to stack these or just to style them on the ground. They also work well tying into um, the girls' cars. They use them as little tunnels. I'll put a link to this one because it's such a great price for um, what it is. One thing that I got that is very specific to Valentine's Day and I ordered these on Etsy is this matching game. And it is personalized, but I really wasn't trying to have it personalized. When I ordered it, you had to do it personalized. So I just put Emerson's name on the back, knowing that she would be using these probably right away. And it would take Charlie just a little bit more time. So these are little wooden coins that you flip over and we lay them all out as a matching game. With Emerson, I started by first just like putting them all out front side up and then we can match them together. Because some of them are a little bit tricky, they look similar to other ones. Okay. Matching. Okay, yeah, let's one? match them. Do you want to, can you help me match them? Strawberry, little envelope with some hearts. I'll zoom in. We need to find the little heart balloons with the treat. Okay, is it under here? No. Here's one. <gasps> is that it? The match. Perfect. Clean up. Everybody. Pull the sides out like this. Can you pull the other side out? Perfect. And then bring it down like that. Perfect. This little world map print we've had for a while and I love it. The girls and I like to talk about the animals. It's just a super cute print in general. Um, I grabbed these little Ikea frames the other day. And we did this little painting to put in there. This I thought would be really easy to switch out whenever we get tired of whatever's in there. As you guys know, my girls are obsessed with these sisters. This is a little print that I found on Etsy and I just popped that in another Ikea frame. Very affordable and very adorable. We've got a little blanket in case we get, you know, some snuggles on and our train set lives in this basket as well. This weatherboard Emmy got for Christmas and I'm actually so happy that I brought it down here. Now, at least once a day, Emmy will come over here and we will talk through, is it dry, is it wet, how warm or cold it is, and what the weather is like right now, it is definitely partly cloudy today. If we move over to the little bookshelf, which I also grabbed at Ikea. I wanted the girls to be able to see the books that they have a little bit better. They were previously just in a basket over there and all kind of stacked up so you couldn't really see it. But I didn't want something that was gonna, you know, take up a lot of space on the floor. So I've kind of hung this at their level, kind of styled themed Yay. for Valentine's Day. This is one of our library books, You Are My Cupcake. Do you want to read that one? We're about to go upstairs for a nap right now, so we're going to pick some books. I don't want to go to nap. I know you don't, but why don't we read some books first? I Love You Through and Through. I think that's kind of a classic. I got that one at Goodwill. Also from Goodwill, I found Arthur's Valentine. I loved Arthur yeah, books growing up, so and so far, Emmy has really liked it too. You are my cutie pie. So these books we all had for a little bit are found at Goodwill. I decided to get each of the girls one new book for Valentine's Day, and that's part of their present. For Emerson, she likes the Llama Llama books, so I got the Llama Llama I Love You. And for Charlie, she's absolutely in love with these baby touch and feel books. This is probably three or four dollars on Amazon. She had the Halloween version when I saw this um, Valentine's version. I thought she definitely needs this. Each page has a different texture or something to look at or feel on it. What does the puppy say? Puppy? Say woof woof. Ooh. Woof. I kept some of the baskets that I already had over here and I actually brought this little wall hanging down that was in our room. This is from TJ Maxx. All the wall baskets are from Goodwill. This is our little um, Ikea shelf. It's actually technically a TV console. This is so perfect if you have a small space or a small budget. 
And I don't want to take credit for that. I actually found it through my friend from watching her tour of their playroom. I will link her channel down below. You should totally check them out because she knows everything Montessori and is where I learn everything from. So definitely go check out Ashley's channel. This little um, TV console is from Ikea. It is $15 and it is so perfect if you're just kind of getting started with Montessori or if you just need a little toy shelf in your house. So we've got all of our things down here and I'm able to rotate them usually once a week as to what's down here. All right, let's move over to the little table. This little table exercise is more for Charlie though. I'm sure Emerson will enjoy it as well. Super simple piece of paper and pom-poms that we already had. I just drew out these circles with the colors of the pom-poms and then she's supposed to match them exactly to the circle. For Charlie, that's a little bit of like the pincher um, grabbing, pincher exercises, pinching them, grabbing them and then placing them as well. I'm not sure if Charlie's gonna get the whole color matching idea yet. We'll find out when she wakes up. fill up the hearts with rice or with beads. Do you love your surprise? Your Valentine's surprise? Okay, so I wanted to show you guys a little bit what we've got going on in the girls' sensory table. Um, Emerson's already dug in. What are you playing with them? Play What else? Beads. Beads and some rice. This table is from Ikea. It is one of the best things that I've found for the girls. It's so much fun and we use it all the time. You can pick out the different kinds of tubs that you want. So we have one big full one right now and then two little ones. These decorative kind of glass beads I got over here, I grabbed from Michael's. And this is the container they came in. Emmy's using it to scoop some rice up into. And then she's pouring that rice over the Play-Doh over here. Just got our little tongs that we have from an Etsy shop. The Play-Doh, I thought about making myself, but I just didn't have the time. So I grabbed these like less than 50 cent pink Play-Dohs from Target. On the other side, we've got our rice. I got this little heart mold at Michael's as well. Figured she can put the rice in here if she wants or maybe squish some Play-Doh in there. Our little car in here, drive around on the road, and our little cookie cutters for the Play-Doh. So that's what we got going on in the little sensory table. Everything's getting all mixed together and that was the hope. I think she's finding it really fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If you're new, hit subscribe because I'm gonna be sharing um, some more things like this more often. If you wanna go over to my Instagram, I also share activities and things that we're up to over there. Like this video, that helps a lot as well. Like that feels really cozy. Bunnies don't really say anything. I don't really know what they say. I hope you guys have a happy Valentine's Day. I love you and I will see you soon. Bye.